Man. Something you should know, Carmelo's never been into a haunted house at this point, so this was a super scary moment, and I'm pretty sure in this moment she was regretting that she followed her mom in. Oh my god, wait! This might be the exact moment that Carmel stopped thinking we're cool. Here's a video of us dancing to Dancing Queens. I can't play because copyright. I think the monsters, the all real monsters. This. It was a TV show when me and mom were younger and vibrant. Oh, double dare. Oh my god, that too. New on Nickelodeon. It is not, new. It is, not new. it is rebooted. So Did you already have your dear outfit? No. No, but she's just gonna wear. Where is the plus size costume? <laughs> oh, that's creepy. <laughs> Slender Man? I don't like that. That's creepy. They have a movie about that. I know. <laughs> this is my costume. That's what you should get for James. <laughs> oh god, he jumped at me. <laughs> uh oh, free hugs, Carm. Free hugs. Oh, he's <laughs> gonna jump out. Nope, what a bummer you are. Oh, that one, Brie. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> that spider really got you. That spider really. I'm about to jump on. <laughs> Plus, those costumes just like mixed in. Are you kidding me, Bob Ross? Like, that's actually really epic. I love that. To be happily painting. Haven't I done a painting tutorial with you with him? No. And he said, we're going to, that was, he said that a year ago. Do you want to do it? Okay. okay. Bob Ross paint night. So if you're over a size 18 as a woman, it's impossible to find a costume that isn't for a nun. Literally. So I could be a nun or I could be Hocus Pocus Winifred, but only the long version. Not the short version. I can be a plus size man. Mm -hmm. You can be a, a plus size man all the way up to size 52. Yeah. 52, folks. That's what I like to call discrimination. So that's why I guess I'll be just doing my own at home inspiration video instead. Oh, Jalen. the pumpkin patch and the fun activities for the kiddos. Yeah. Jeffrey, you're looking like a gem over there. Oh, you look actually very picturesque. Yeah. yeah. You look kind of like a farmer who likes lattes. And you look like the brightest pumpkin in the patch. Okay. So, anyone going to say anything about me? I just complimented both of you. Oh yeah, you look really good. I mean, your eye is on point. Looking like a snack. Like fell out of the vending machine. Yes, that too. <laughs> Carmel, I don't think she's gonna be able to do this next year. Look at your child. Can you please look at her? Oh, please. She's everywhere. Oh. So much bigger feet. So I don't think she'll be able to get in there next year just for her height, you know? Yeah. Just squish it in there already as it is. You having fun in there, Carmel? Yeah. I'm making a Porn angel. A porn angel. Whatever you want to freaking call it. That's what I want to freaking call it. No, bury me alive. Yeah. <laughs> so I have freshly squeezed strawberry lemonade. How delicious. It's actually really delicious. And people are about to get some corn. Not me though. <laughs> I'm feeling very heavenly in my fall sweater. Oh, 
Does anyone recognize where that sweater's from? <laughs> Comment below if you do. When you have to buy up your friend stuff. Okay. So I don't keep it all. So thank you for not making me keep You're everything. You're welcome. <laughs> we'll shit. You buy. I'll try. And then you don't have to send it all back. Thanks. You're welcome. You're okay. Welcome. Bye. How is it, babe? Pretty good. It's fresh. Mm-hmm. Fresher than me? Yep. Oh, that's weird. Oh my god. So blessed. The light's great right there. Farm malicious. Jeff, you're looking pretty farm malicious over there. Oh, so many pumpkins. And can you guys see Mount Rainier? Okay. Mount Off to the distance. We are going to go have the kids do the laser tag they have over there. So I think that'll be fun. Look at this sunset. Are you kidding me? There's actually a rainbow in that cloud over there. That is like one of the coolest things I've ever seen. I've never seen that. That is so cool. And you gotta go like this, babe. I need to see that action. Oh, no. I'm not doing all that. You wanna try to last so we can just stand up next to it. Woo! Okay, babe. Okay. He's not doing it right. You gotta have a real cowgirl show you how to done. Well, Brit does plenty of time. What is she lassoing in her spare time? Should I get on this bad boy? Yeah, you should. Oh, like this? Is that good? Oh, okay, yeah. We're oh, good. Hey. I missed it. Oh, no, I got it, I'm pretty sure. Did you actually get it? Yeah. Yes. Oh, you missed it. No, I got it. Good job. Here we go. Hopping on a little horsey. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, you look slim, I know that. Slim, thick. A little bump. Okay, here we go. Cry. Do this either. Oh! Let's try again. I gotta get it once at least. Catch her to ride and dirty. <laughs> ride and dirty there, sweetie. Yay! I got him! Oh, no, well, I you did didn't. I did get him though. You saw that. Well, that was not getting him. <laughs> good job, good job. Thanks. And catch me ride and dirty. They hate him. Let's roll. She likes to roll a roll. Okay, let me stop. With the damage. Right. <laughs> oh, well, it was a fun time at the pumpkin patch. Last time, I'm gonna tell you. Let's we closed go. it out. There's no one else Close here. It we shut, shut it down. down. We used to shut down clubs, now we shut down pumpkin patches. Hey, <laughs> family business. Okay, so let's talk about the vlog. Luckily, I'm a little discouraged because as you see in the beginning of the vlog, me and Brie and Carmela were trying to find a costume because I thought it'd be fun to try on some costumes for you guys and do a costume like try on haul. We went there and I guess I just thought it would be better selection in my size and there wasn't unfortunately all the plus size they offered was just like an 18 or lower so they didn't have anything above an 18 except for <laughs> except for a nun costume which there's nothing wrong with that but I think it kind of gears towards the fact that like us bigger women we should stay covered you know and we shouldn't show our legs or show our bodies so to me I had a major problem with the only two options I could have gotten in store were full length dress so either I could have been the nun or I could have been Winifred from Hocus Pocus but only <laughs> the full length option so it bothered me just because I feel like there should have been some cuter options um well not necessarily cuter but just you know something a few other options not just the full length options for people over in size 18 so in this day and age i feel like more and more stores are carrying plus size still not see enough plus size being represented in a halloween store mind you i'm not just like i'm at target or walmart where they have like a small halloween section and you're not really going to expect a lot from that with this i guess i kind of expected a little more just since it's it was a halloween store and that's like all they do is halloween it would be nice to be able to go to the store like any straight size person can and try on a couple costumes and buy the one that you like best whereas we as on the larger scale of plus size have to go online and order a few options or just shot in the dark order one and just hope for the best and return policies can be a little bit sketchy sometimes on costumes since it's such a short amount of time that they sell them and return them so it can be kind of a hassle with that as well besides the fact maybe you don't have enough money to buy a couple costumes to try on so literally you have to just only get one and just hope for the best so that I think is kind of a bummer too because I feel like we should be able to go to the store and try on options and see what actually does fit us best and what we actually like the best 
just because we're plus size doesn't mean we don't want to have options we want to have options to just like any other side overall we still had a great time at the store it's always fun kind of going around shopping looking at the stuff and of course all of the little scare factors that they have those are so fun and it was funny because Carmela went through the haunted house but like she closed her eyes the whole time she said because she was so scared we definitely had fun there still and then we went to the pumpkin patch which was a lot of fun and i really like the pumpkin patch that we go to just because they have a lot of fun activities although most of them are geared towards the younger crowd and the children but i still have fun going looking at all their activities and it's fun watching carmella have so much fun it's fun watching the kids do the zip line they were oh my gosh with the end there where they were like swinging up we're like oh gosh i hope they don't like hit their head or anything <laughs> but luckily they were fine and they just had a good time and then the animals are so cute oh my gosh those little piggies like if they could stay that size i would want a little pet pig because they are just so cute but i know they just they grow up and they're just a hand, definitely a handful to take you need an actual farm to take care of those guys once they grow up so, so if you aren't on instagram you haven't probably heard or you might have missed it even if you are the whole hashtag fat is not a violation i participated in it and i'll show you some footage of me and my friend brie participating in it after i talk for a moment here so um basically long story short is some plus size women have been getting their accounts deleted or suspended because they've been posting pictures of themselves lingerie so all of the genitals are still covered but you maybe you're seeing your belly or in your thighs and you know showing more of your body than what society might want to see so people have been getting reported and getting their accounts shut down for that and it's it's definitely a double standard because you can see people um in bikinis and like little triangle bikinis and stuff barely covering anything and they're not getting reported like i'm just going to show one example not calling her out specifically but just kim kardashian for example post tons of pictures super exposed and you know she doesn't get reported or suspended or shut down but because it's the fat body they definitely target so your fat is not a violation you know as it comes down to the simplest terms it's not you know if you want to have your stomach hanging out if you want to have your arms flapping in the wind <laughs> you can't really see my arm right now but you know it's there flapping <laughs> um and or if you want to have your thighs out whatever and you should be able to have just as much body shown as a skinny person and just because you're fat i feel like we get targeted because people don't find it so well, some people don't find it as appealing and they i find that frustrating so i was happy to be a part of this and to show like hey no this isn't right we can show just as much as anyone else we're not showing anything inappropriate we're just showing a stomach but the stomach has rolls and stretch marks and isn't flat and taut as some of the other ladies out there that are posting and they're great for them too like it's all about everybody's okay right whether big or small like i'm happy to see these thinner girls showing off their bodies too that's the point is it should be universal you know and it's just not so i encourage you if you do have instagram and you are a plus size lady or man whatever because it was awesome that all genders participated i saw different all different genders participating in this so it's not just women want to post a picture of yourself in something maybe in a bathing suit or whatever you might feel comfortable with maybe a shorter skirt or maybe showing your arms off for some people just showing your arms is a big deal for them and just use the hashtag fat is not a violation because then it's kind of showing support and showing instagram that like we're here we're not doing anything wrong even just liking people who've posted showing your support that way is awesome too so as soon as this video is over go look it up this is me from the greatest showman soundtrack it is such a powerful and great song and actually listen to the words like i encourage you to even pull the lyrics up and while you're listening follow along with the lyrics because they just really spoke to me like no song has ever spoke to me i feel like it was written for me or into the body positive community because some of the my favorite lines is like i'm not scared to be seen i make no apologies this is me you know and that was such a thing for me for so many years as i was scared to be seen and you know i always was saying sorry for my size and this song is so powerful just because it's like this is me you know and all of my glory i just thought it'd be really cool to do like a little kind of like catwalk like powerful ooh ooh moment and brie was so down to do it with me so that was super fun to have her do it with me just to show like another plus size lady feeling empowered too and 
that's it for this vlog. I'm gonna show you the clips of us doing the this is me little strut. And so here is the first attempt of our little dance to this is me. And as you can see, Brie almost bit the dust. Oh God, I'm glad she did it. And then here we are finally hitting it right. Yes, yes, work, work. I'm not scared to be seen. I make no apologies. This is me. Hopefully I don't get a copyright for that incredible singing voice I have. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.